Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, we'll have a quick look at blueprints, uh, how they work, what the mechanics are, where you get them, and how you organize yourself around those, because that is one of those questions that comes up very frequently. Help, I run out of blueprints. So what are blueprints? Well, if you buy a ship from the tech tree, uh, the ship comes unupgraded, it's stock. It's just what it is, right? So if you go to the armory, you see that you can upgrade various parts of the ships. Most of you have probably figured that out by now. And depending on which tier the ship is, you need different kinds of blueprints to upgrade the ship. So this is a tier nine ship. Tier nine ships use the uh, five-star blueprints. We can see those blueprints in the warehouse, which is, where is it, there. And there we can actually see our blueprints. So uh, there are one star blueprints. These are for tier one and two. Uh, they're the green ones for three and four, the blue ones for five and six, the uh, purple ones for seven and eight, and the gold ones for nine and 10. So you see that um, the odd tiers are always included, which means that even if you're just grinding across the tiers, especially tier nine, it becomes very, very interesting because you're gonna need a lot of these gold blueprints for uh, to upgrade a tier 9 ship and you need even more to upgrade the eventual tier 10 ship that you reach which means if you're not planning to keep the tier 9 ship uh, using these blueprints for the upgrade is going to be a little bit of an issue at the same time uh, getting from tier 9 to tier 10 if we're looking at the tech tree um, i'm gonna have to look at something that i haven't actually unlocked uh, hmm, is there anything we should have still one in the yeah. Uh, it it takes like three hundred close to four hundred thousand um, experience to get from tier nine to tier ten, which means you're going to be sitting on a tier nine for quite a while unless you use free XP to accelerate the process, which also means that if you're playing a ship that isn't fully upgraded, then you're at a distinct disadvantage. So let's get back to uh, looking at these upgrades. So uh, there are usually four, five, six uh, areas of the ship that you can upgrade. And while the in-game description says that a fully upgraded ship is better than its tier, it's actually the other way around. It's that a not fully upgraded ship is worse than its tier because most of the ships you fight, you'll be facing are going to be fully upgraded. Uh, in, in here, we've got a destroyer. So we've got a hull upgrade for more hit points. We've got the gun upgrade for more damage. We've got the torpedo upgrade for more torpedo damage, obviously. The fire controls for range on the main battery and the air defense for more AA. Uh, there's also the elite ship bonus. So I'm gonna look at a different one uh, just to, uh, to make that clearer. So here we've got the ship that is fully upgraded and we've seen we needed seven levels of upgrades. Now these upgrades cost blueprint and uh, blueprints and silver, and that is actually getting rather expensive at uh, at higher tiers as well. And um, then you can select this elite ship bonus once it is fully upgraded, and that is also once when the sh a ship starts earning you uh, convertible XP. Once you're done with the research XP to what's the next tier, so all um, once you've got done all of them, you get an, an additional bonus out of the whole affair. So let's uh, let's take a look. So here, for example, uh, we see that I need six main gun upgrades. The first one's cheap, but let, let's uh, let's have a look at the difference between the uh, upgraded and non-upgraded part. So, for example, here we're looking at um, a, a stock uh, main battery uh, semi-armor piercing damage of 490. So if we if we actually add the ship to a comparison and that takes a while to load. And uh, we compare her to just anything. So from 490, because the comparison uh, view is going to, is going to uh, assume that you're fully upgraded. So uh, we were, we would going to, uh, what was it? 490 to 578 in terms of uh, semi armor piercing damage, which is a fair amount, right? And for example, if we look at the hit points, uh, here we've got 19,800, and if we're looking at the stock value, uh, it's 16,800. So a, a not insignificant amount of improvement coming out of these research. Uh, playing an unupgraded ship is a very, very difficult because you are at a severe disadvantage, also in terms of range, especially for things like battleships. Uh, different ships have different upgrades. 
So carriers, for example, have plane upgrades. Uh, to destroyers have torpedo upgrades. Uh, battleships will have secondary upgrades. But there are a couple of ones that are common to all ships. Obviously, the hull upgrade, uh, the air defense upgrade, these are the two that are that you're going to find on every single ship. So these are the blueprints you're most likely to run out first, because every single ship needs those. So uh, where do we get blueprints? Well, uh, there are multiple ways, but the, your best, your, your primary source of blueprints are these blueprint crates up here, these containers. How do you get containers? Well, you can get four containers a day. Each container contains two blueprints. So if we open one of those, we get two blueprints. We can't choose which ones, we randomly get two. Um, but we can get four, uh, four of these containers just by playing the game. And we can actually use a, like you can watch an advertisement to, to I don't know, get an additional one maybe, or uh, something like that. But uh, these will accrue over time. The second place where you can get them usually is the battle pass. So even if you're on the free tier, you see that you get um, you get a container, there's another container, and there's, there are two more containers. In events and similar things, containers oftentimes show up as well. So this is your primary means of getting blueprints. Now, which container should you choose? That depends what you're playing. I generally stick with the gunboat blueprint container because I don't tend to run out of torpedo blueprints all that often, unless you're probably a destroyer main and you're trying to grind all the destroyers. Um, but if you have a more mixed uh, set of ships in harbor, you're most likely not really running out of the torpedo blueprints because not every ship has torpedoes, so not every ship needs them. The cruisers, battleships that don't have torpedoes don't need that blueprint for upgrading. Carriers don't need that blueprint for upgrading. So uh, you might not be running out of this as much, I personally tend to go with the gun, uh, gunboat blueprint container because there's a higher chance that I get the things that I actually need, which is primarily hull, AA, and uh, to a lesser degree main guns. So uh, that's normally what I what I go with. Uh, right, uh, there's a third way that I'm aware of to, where you can get blueprints, and uh, that's in the crates. Now, not in the light crate, but in the medium and heavy crate, and obviously the event crate. So if you look at any kind of these event crates, uh, oftentimes uh, this one doesn't, but oftentimes they have uh, they have blueprints in them. This one doesn't as well. Okay, bad example. Uh, how about this one? Yeah, there you go, you see? So event crates tend to have, uh, tend to have blueprint, kind of blueprint packs inside them. And uh, also the medium and heavy crate have blueprints. So heavy crate has the has the upper two tiers and the medium crate has the um, the the, uh, the middle two tiers. So should you be using gold to do this? I would not recommend it because if you're looking at the if you're looking at the probabilities, if you tap on this little eye here, uh, very much on the top, you can actually see the probabilities of of getting things, and you'll find that um, the the highest drops are generally around uh, free XP silver is almost a whopping twenty percent. And then you've got all the boosters and the blueprints are just down here with a much, much lower percentage uh, that they these things will actually drop anything. So um, they include three items. So it's three times you get the chance, but the chance is reasonably low and you'll end up spending a fair amount of gold trying to get blueprints that way. I would not recommend doing that. There are bundles and uh, sometimes you find bundles in the shop that allow you to purchase blueprints. I don't know if there's one. Yep, there is one, for example. So you could spend... Um, <laughs> you could spend uh, an, uh, the, uh, the amount you would spend usually for, for a game on Steam to get a bunch of blueprints. Uh, that is up to you, what you do with your money. I, I find this a rather expensive way of doing it, but like I said, it's up to you. You can do that as well. So, uh, now that these are the ways that you can actually acquire new blueprints, but there are other ways that you can manage your blueprints. So let's go back. Let's go into the into the warehouse and have a look at the blueprints. And you'll see that there's a research button down here in the bottom right. This button is also in the in the um, in the in the ship's upgrade part. So there's a you see that blueprint research button here right next to upgrade. That's also there. So what you can do is you can uh, there are the blueprints. Now let's say you 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 need more of the uh, four star blueprints. And you've just run out of whole blueprints, as I have. I have run out of whole blueprints on the mid-tier ones as well. You can research. 
So you can combine lower tier, like the, the tier before blueprints. So in this case, the level two blueprints, three of those into one, uh, into one higher tier. And you have to spend some silver to do that, which means it gets quite expensive uh, rather rapidly. So 30,000 silver, 30 blueprints would net you 10 blueprints on the other side. So now we've got nine. If I do that, we get 10 blueprints and we lost a bunch of the green ones. Uh, you can also do it the other way around and uh, that doesn't net you three blueprints of the lower tier that just nets you one blueprint of the lower tier which is really not what you want so i would do, i would not recommend ever to go for the separation because um you're wasting you're wasting a lot of potential and you're going to need the higher tier blueprints at some point so uh, it's usually the upper the, the way up which means then you can go through um you can go to, technically you could go through the tiers so you could say oh no so now i'm gonna i've got the three star ones and i could go and do the four star ones and take three of those which means i would need nine of the you could convert nine of those into one of these and uh it, get, it does get pricey but if you don't really need those lower tier blueprints or you've just got um a crap load of them because lower tier ships also don't need as many blueprints for research this is another way how you can make more blueprints then recently introduced we find these things so these are universal blueprints uh, these blueprints match any slot so you can add these uh, like these ones are slot bound right so these are whole blueprints you can't put these on main guns obviously but you, you can use these to research anything how do you use them well easy when you run out in, a, in a, inevitably like i have here so i'm trying to, up, uh, to upgrade the adriatico here and I don't have whole blueprints, but I need one. So I can tap into my universal blueprints here and it's automatic. So if I tap upgrade, it's saying, uh, do you want to do that? You're going to get into the, uh, you're going to take it from the universal blueprint. And then um, then you can do that. And then you can do it a couple times more until you run out of universal blueprints. Uh, acquiring universal blueprints, I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen them coming out of the blueprint crates. Maybe they come out of events or something. So they're pretty scarce. And uh, uh, the only reason I have a lot here is because it's a press account and it's a good way to resupply it with blueprints without having to go through every single item. But uh, yeah, so these are, these are the blueprints, which means that you then have a decision to make, uh, especially in the higher tier grinds. Um, you have a decision to make, do you want to upgrade the odd tiers? And uh, especially at tier nine is where it gets kind of really, really tricky because like I said, you have to spend a lot of time on the tier nine ship grinding to get to tier 10 and playing a non-upgraded tier nine ship is really, really harsh. Now you could kind of go for, um, you could kind of go for, for a balance here, right? And you could say, uh, all right, this is a destroyer. Um, do I need this fully upgraded? This is a tier nine ship. I'm not planning to keep it. I just want to get to tier 10 and then I'm going to sell it. If you repurchase them, by the way, the research stays. You don't have to research them again if you sell them. So don't be, don't be worried about that. If you repurchase them, the research is still where you were at. But um, you, could, you could argue and could say, okay, um, Italian destroyer. I want to upgrade the torpedoes. Uh, I really don't care about the AA. Uh, because it doesn't have much AA and it's tier 9, it's not going to do anything anyway. I might as well save these. You could say, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do torpedoes, guns and hull maybe. And given that's an Italian destroyer, the range is too short anyway. So I'm just going to stick, I'm going to save my fire control. Similar with the battleship, you could say, okay, I'm not going to upgrade my secondaries. Uh, but secondary blueprints are not something that you generally run out of. So there's really not an awful lot of gain here. And hull is where it hurts for a battleship. But you could say, okay, I'm just going to do maybe the fire control, but I'm not going to do everything else. And uh, and that way I save at least some blueprints while I'm grinding through through a tier that I'm, I'm not planning to keep anyway. So these are possible ways of dealing with those things. But yeah, that's what blueprints are. That's what you need them. That's how you get them. Uh, that's how you use them. And uh, everyone is out of blueprints. You are not alone. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.